Hello, my name is Gary Oakes, and here is a short overview for the spacious theme for WordPress. This is the free version. So it's an example here. We have at the top, we have a logo area, a top menu bar here with some submenus and a search bar, a massive slider, which is really great for some themes, a home page, which is set to wide with some images, a short video at the bottom, Let's just show that videos will play on this theme. And towards the bottom we have a footer area where there are four widgets. And we have right at the bottom a footer menu. So this is quite a versatile theme. If you look at a typical page now, if I go to a resource page, we have a couple of images here. And we have a right hand sidebar. And this is be tailored to any page that you would like. And in terms of a blog, two posts. And again, there's an image and an excerpt for each of these. And if I click on the image, it will take you to the full post. And again, I'm showing a right-hand sidebar here. And again, that's a choice that you have when you set these things up. And just something about the author at the bottom as well, which this theme actually provides. So if we go behind the scenes now, into the dashboard, and if we go to Appearance and Customize, we now have the opportunity to customize this theme. And what we have is a menu on the left, and on the right we have the, a window pane showing you the changes that you make. The first one being Site Identity, very few opportunities to change anything here. Colors, again minimal. You can add a header image. I haven't got one at the moment, so let's look how we can achieve this. So if we add an image, I go to my picture gallery or my image gallery and I'll choose this particular one here and we'll add that. So there's the header. So let's see where that appears on the right hand pane. So as I said, and there it is, right at the top. So now that's above my big slider image that I've got there. I'm going to keep that there so and I'm going to save it a bit later. So the next one we need to go into is the background image and that's pretty well fixed. Menus. There are a, there's the two menus, there's the primary menu and the footer menu. Widgets, we have a header sidebar widget and actually four footer widgets as we saw earlier. The header sidebar widget is actually the search bar that you see on the top right. So moving on then, we have the static front page which is standard functionality. Header, this has three menus. We have the header logo, which is the top there. How you'd like it to show and where in positioning. So we can change the positioning by selecting here. So the logo now will go under the header, as we will see. I'll leave it like that for the time being. It's a different way of showing it and the menu bar also comes down with it. What else do we have? Design. There are eight menus to choose from, from site layout, the default layout, default layout for pages, the default layout for po blogs and posts. You've got the blog post display, primary color, color skin, and custom CSS, which is really useful for customizing your website. Additional, a couple of items there. And then the slider, so a few slider options. You can add your sliders. These are the big images you can see flashing there on the on the right hand pane there. So these are the images I'm showing. And you can set the slider up how you would like it to look. So it's a great opportunity to make this look really good. And say they are big images as well. There is a pro version like most of these themes. And this one is $69, nearly $70. This is the most expensive one I've come across. Lots of functionality for this particular theme, but it's up to you if you wish to upgrade. The free version does quite a lot as it is. So it, again, it's, a, it's a, a choice. We did alter a number of things when we played with it. So let's have a look how it would look on the site. So we, we added a header and we moved the logo image around. So this is how it may look. 
when it's live. So we've got the big header at the top. This is just a an ordinary one, well, the, the blog post. And if we go to the home page, we have the header, the logo, and then we have the big image and the home page. So again, quite a versatile theme. Pretty simple, restricted in terms of menus. Hope you found this useful, and I will see you on the next video. Bye for now.